Hello and welcome back to Mordavia. This is the Quest for Glory fourth Quest for Glory game. And today we are going to continue. Um, last time we helped Boris and Olga to go to get together. And today we are going to go and explore the forest a little bit. Let's continue. There we go. Okay. May your journey take you where you wish to go. Appreciate it. So, uh, let's go, first let's go to south, as long as we can. I may actually try a little combat if it, if I get the opportunity. Okay, here, over here we're gonna head south. Apparently it's a little bit more peaceful during the day. The forest, we have not been exploring the forest too much, but now we are. There we go, and south from here. There we go. Oh my. Hello there. Oh my. Could you help me? This water is so cold and I need someone to help warm me. Sounds like a trap. Who are you? I am the Rosalka. Rosalka. Please. Take my hand and help me. The lake. If you take my hand, I'll be happy to show you what the lake is like. Rascal Forest. If you take my arms, I'll be happy to talk to you about anything you'd like. She really wants to hold my hands, doesn't she? Why she's here? You ask what a nice girl like her is doing in a place like this. It's so nice here in the water. Why don't you join me? She just said it's cold. It is so oh. cold here in the lake. Please, come and hold me and help me to be warm again. Yeah, I think not. Tempting, but not. Great lake, woman. Why don't you come to my arms so that I can give you a real greeting? About yourself. Surely a hero like you will help someone like me. Please, take my hand. Okay, let's try to go away. And come back, because that seems to be... A, the lady had a little weird um, makeup or something. Sure. Hello oh, there. Could you help me? This water is so cold and I need someone to help warm me. You don't remember me? I just was here. Let's go to Metisa. Gazing intently at the lake woman, you sensuously waggle the fingers of your right hand beside your nose. Then you delicately and suggestively rub your belly with your left hand. The Rosalka says, oh yes, that's what I want too. Come to me and we'll rub noses and bellies together forever. Enough already. Um, uh, what if... Okay, let's see. I have flowers. You give flowers to pretty girls, right? That didn't do anything, you... Thank you for the beautiful flowers. No one has been so nice to me since I can remember. Still not gonna come any closer. Let's talk more. Rusalka. It is lonely being a Rusalka. Anytime anyone nice comes along, I pull him into the lake and drown him. Once he's drowned, he's not much company, I'm afraid. Uh, I bet, May. I've been a Rusalka for so long. I've forgotten. I see. Uh, well, tell me about the lake. This lake is surrounded on three sides by steep mountains. To the southwest, it merges with a swamp. The lake is not a safe place for you to swim. Many unpleasant things lurk in the deep water. Yeah. yeah. The swamp is definitely a creepy place. Dead things lie under the water and try to drag the living underneath. Kind of sounds like my job description, doesn't it? Well, the things in the swamp are a whole lot nastier than I am. So be careful out there. Things. I stay far away from them. They crawled into the lake from the swamp one day. Ugh, they remind me of worms and give me the creeps. Sure, something else. Um, 
forest? I don't know much about the forest. I, I can't leave my lake, so I don't get around there much. Okay. Why are you here? You ask what a nice girl like her is doing in a place like this. I don't really know. I've been here for such a long time now. I mean, it's not like I can go anywhere. I, I can't leave the lake. Interesting. Uh, drownings? It's my job to drown anyone who comes to the lake. That's what being a Rizalka is all about. Well, who's your boss then? What's all about the town? I think I remember the town. I must have lived there once. Other than the fact it's somewhere to the northeast, I guess I can't tell you much about it. Oh boy. How about... Tell me about myself. You tell the Rizalka about some of your previous adventures. Gee, you've done a lot to get rid of monsters and things. You don't think I'm some kind of monster, do you? I mean, just because I'm undead and drown people, you don't think I'm bad. Well, yeah, well, okay, bye. Please, come visit me again sometime. It's nice to have a friend to talk to. Cool. Okay. Rusalka. Sure. Hi, Rusalka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. now then we are going to go a little bit east. A little bit more east. And then we are going to go south. A little bit more south. Even a little bit more more south. A pool of sticky, greasy-looking slime dominates this area below the cave. A stream of slimy goo oozes down the right side, and goo dripping on the path makes it slimy and treacherous as well. Slimy pool. Okay, let's take... Um, apparently I need to gather that stuff up. Nothing. Okay, slime pool. That did... that... That did... N n n n n n that did... that did... I you see, oh, there it is. Your flask with the grease I thought it was in the middle of the pool. Thank you. You slowly fill your flask with the greasy, grimy goo. Thank you. I kind of know what to do, but I have no idea how to do it. So that's a little bit, yeah. You grab a handful of rocks. You grab a hand. Okay, I have some rocks now. Now I need to... Let's, um, I'm not sure. Hmm. Rocks. You missed the rock pile. You'll need to keep practicing. You missed. You missed. You this missed the rock again pile. going to be You'll one of those things I need to throwing. practice quite a lot, so I'm gonna practice until I hit and I'll be back when I start hitting something. You so I can also try to climb up here, I think. But I can't get there or I can throw throw the You missed the rock pile. You... After some rest, you don't have any rations. You better get some... Okay, I ran out of food. I need to go back to the uh, town and get some food. Okay, let's do that. It's a little bit... Well, it's not night yet, so I'm just gonna run back to the town and get some... Uh, Food. There's the eagle again. How 
How many rations do I need? It was nice in the quest for glory, first quest for glory, when there was this Erana's Peace place where you can eat the fruit every day. And kind of help with the food with that. You straighten up. The general store. I see. Okay, let's go to sleep then. Open the door. The door is... You hear move after a few minutes. I'm not completely sure what I'm supposed to do. What the hell? Have a seat. Wait, no, better leave the seats here. But well, why don't you sit down on one? This show can't get on the road until you get off your load. So sit a while and enjoy yourself. Or maybe just sit. Okay. Gnome's home. Be they ever so humble, there's nobody stays home. I've been on the road so long, I have flat tires on my feet. I go wherever I can tell a good joke, and many places where I can't. How did you get here? No. I'm staying at this inn for a while until I find something here. I got the last door down the hall. Visit me sometime. I'm sure we can have a few laughs together. Okay, show business. Hey, my last tour was a great success. I outran everyone. But there's no business like show business. With me, the show must go on and on and on. There's no business like show business jokes. I got millions of them. Problem is, I can't remember most of them. And the ones I do remember should have been buried long ago. I used to be worth my wit and gold. But, oh, it's a long story. Ask me about it some other time. Okay. Pleased to meet you. I could tell by your outfit that you were no ordinary rube. Punny Bones, the name. Joke's a fair game. I'm a pro punster. Okay. Greet him. Thank you, thank you. I always like to meet a receptive audience. It's always good to see you. It means you're not behind my back. Yeah, okay. Take it, bud. Leaving so soon? Good night, and thanks for all the fish. Okay, let's go to bed. We're gonna go to sleep. Uh, I'm not sure what's the point with the g gnome here, well, but... Lock the door to your... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find out. Great! Let's sleep. After some... There you go. Sleep until morning. You awaken as the sun be sun begins to rise. Yes, yes, yes. We have heard that before. Let's go now and buy some rations. Still you remain. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. I'm glad you have so much faith in me. do you have for me? Not really that much. I was thinking about I want to... Well, it's all about that. Tell Olga about what you've been doing in Mordavia. And be sure and keep me informed. I need to know everything that goes on around here. Someone's got to have a clue after all. Okay. Uh, buy equipment. Uh, let's buy... Trail rations. There. We have rations. Now let's go back to... Uh, As where my we were husband here. used to say, so we'll uh, come back again, uh, sunshine or rain. I will. Let's go back to where we were before. Okay, I was surprised he didn't say anything. And, um... Um... 
and 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 see at least we can train some throwing if nothing else my train my throwing has already gone up from uh, let's see from 200 to 210 so yeah i'm gonna continue doing that until something happens i think i guess I suppose. Where's the eagle again? And over here. I'm not sure. I think... As a rogue, I think I'm supposed to get up here and ga pull this up with hook and rope. But... The path is incredibly slippery. You can scarcely move on it without falling. I'm not sure if I get any experience from this. Do I? No, not really. But I keep on throwing rocks. You missed. You and climbing you until something happens. You you miss. This is pretty fast though. Already 300, 213 th throwing. I do try to get the acrobatics a little bit higher too. Because I think at some point I have to get up there anyways. So yeah. I'll get back to you. I've been throwing the rocks for two days and night here, and... <sighs> well, there is progress, of course, sure, but... Okay, it's evening, I need to go... I haven't slept also during that time. 291, started from 200, it's 291, so... I guess we have to go back and... Sleep a little. Let's do that. Let's go back to town, it's evening. Um, yeah, back to town. It's the, it's evening, so we're gonna go and have a sleep, and then come back and run, throw rocks again for as long as needed. Here we are, by the town gate. Okay. Let's go to the inn. Over here. Knock on you the door. You hear movement. After a few minutes. Yeah, we have seen that a couple of times already. Anything interesting happen here? No, not really. Let's go. Let's actually go and... Knock on door. A voice from behind the door says, Whoops, sorry. Seems I forgot about my burglar alarm. Hope it wasn't too shocking for you. <laughs> funny. Very funny. Hello, how are you? Come in and have a sit, why don't you? Thanks. As you sit down, a rude noise comes from the chair seat. <laughs> Every time, a million laughs. How are you? Good to see you. Nice see you to drop in. Speaking of dropping in, did you hear the one about the bad waiter? Seems like he was always dropping in. Dropping in. Get it? Didn't think so. No one got a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> Not even me. Welcome in to the inn. Pleased to meet you. Sit down and have a seat. Oh, we did that already, didn't we? <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. 
ask about humor. I ain't got no sense of humor. I can't get no sense of humor. And I try. Don't know why. Gotta fly. Say goodbye. What's the matter? You a music critic? So I can't tell a joke. Sue me. I'm comedically challenged. A feeb of a fool. A dweeb dunce. As a matter of fact, I've been cursed. I'm vexed with a hex, so to speak. What curse? Who? Pathetic, ain't it? I can't tell a joke if it kicked me in the teeth. Ever since I got Baba Yaga mad at me, I got the bad joke blues. Well, that's not good. I met her. She has no sense of humor whatsoever. Let me tell you, I was just telling the joke about how some hero got Baba Baby hopping mad and fit to be towed. How was I to know she was in the audience at the time? Anyhow, Baba Yaga stands up, says some bad poetry, and the next thing I know is my jokes are jumbled, and my puns are pathetic. So here I am in Nowhere Land, trying to locate Baba Yaga so as I can get the curse removed and my humor returned. Okay. This place is really dead, you know. I've had a livelier audience in the graveyard. What do they know about humor? They think a guy falling into a mud puddle is a major joke, like lots of yucks, huh? Now, a man being tripped into a mud puddle, that's comedy. It's not very funny, isn't it? Is he? I mean. Rumors. What do I hear? Let me see. Well, the talk of the town is you. No one knows how you got here or what are you doing. And they're still all a bit leery of strangers. You should see some of the looks they give me. You'd think they never saw a gnome before. Or you, for that matter. <sighs> tell me about myself. Well, tell about some of your adventures. What was that you were saying about saving Spielberg? Yeah. You tell about your adventures in Spielberg. So you're the guy that made me lose my sense of humor. Listen, if you hadn't made Baba Yaga mad, I never would have told the joke that made her take my humor away. Kinda didn't tell the joke though. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Thinking that the gnome might be one of the brethren, you make the thief sign. The gnome looks rather agitated. Boy, have you got the wrong gnome. I'm not into that kinky stuff, let me tell you. Okay. Enough already. Sure. Thanks, and bye. So... So I ask you, what do you call a dinosaur crashing into a wall? Late for supper, of course. <laughs> See you later, crocodile. Okay, that was one. Lock the door to your room and go in. That was very good. <sighs> okay, let's sleep till morning and then go back and throw some rocks. In your sleep, you seem to hear Ooh. voices. Do you see him? Yes, he is sleeping. Most likely in the inn, although it is hard to focus the vision enough to tell. I do not understand why you did not just capture him in the first place. The charades you play are foolish. Silence! To serve us, it will be for the best if he acts under his own free will. Why make an enemy out of a willing tool? Oh, but I forget. He is already your enemy. This is not someone to play games with, I say. If he finds out what is going on, he will never cooperate. Besides, you risk his death. Mordavia is a very dangerous place. I think he is quite capable of taking care of himself. Besides, I have ways of making him cooperate. As you well know, I will use them only if I must. The voices fade off into oblivion. Interesting. So there's You scheme. awaken as the sun begins, begins sun. to rise. I don't have to read this because we have a narrator. Okay, let's go back and throw some rocks. Why am I going so damn fast? I don't, I'm not supposed to be having so fast speed. There we go. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the forest. Let's go back. Ooh, what's going on here? Look, he is safely locked away. We should wait a bit to see if the gravedigger shows up. Well, there you go. Igor's missing. That ties it. The little weasel never goes anywhere for crying out loud. Yeah, except when he's with that wacko, crazy, cuckoo doctor. Why else would that gypsy be so darn close to town? He got a taste for meat. It was a full moon outside last night, I'm telling ya. Yeah, somebody's going to jail. Justice must be served, even for that little gravedigger. Justice? We don't even know if a crime has really been committed. Just relax, go home or to the inn. The gypsy goes nowhere. We can decide what to do later. But we... Later, go home. Okay, let's go and talk. Gypsy. A gypsy was found right outside the town gates. We brought him here for questioning. Questioning for what? Why don't you have a bake sale, pal, and send away for a clue? Everyone knows that gypsies are werewolves. Are they? Yeah, little Igor was somebody's Big Mac, and you want us to just go home? That werewolf is a danger to us all. Think of our families and our mistresses. Do you think I would endanger the town by allowing him to escape? The gypsy is securely locked up. He will not get away. Okay. Well, let's ask about the werewolf. Werewolves are mere peasant tales. You never know. You want to see a peasant tale, pal? Look, we all know that werewolves are real. Yeah, I saw the movie. They turn into wolves by the full moon. They are harmed only by silver in wolf form. They're allergic to wolf's bane. There's a poem about it, okay? Even a man who's pure in heart. And says his prayers by night. Enough! Enough! It is all hearsay and speculation. May become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms. Beautiful. And the autumn moon is bright. Or so the charming legend says. Uh, I see. How about Gravedigger? The Gravedigger was missing last night. And we matriculated on down to the cemetery to search, see? Yeah, but we didn't have far to go. Just outside town, we caught ourselves a werewolf. Yeah, but we found no trace of poor old Igor. Enough! Igor is missing. We do not know what happened to him. Uh, what's going on? It is none of your... Well, I know Perfect. The gravedigger Igor's been killed. And we captured a werewolf! Listen, I'm telling you, Igor's death must be avenged. Go home. Just go home, all of you. You do not know the truth yet. <laughs> We're gonna make the little gypsy tell the truth, don't you worry. Yeah, let's see how much lying he does after we take his teeth out by hand. Dimitri, dude, listen, we... Dude. No, you listen, all of you. There is nothing to be done until we know all the facts. Now go home and let me do my job, please. So... Igor is missing, and they have to bump into a gypsy. Okay, enough already. Let's see. The gravedigger is missing, and the gypsy just happened to be near the front gate when we were searching for Igor. He is suspected of being a werewolf and of having eaten Igor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quite charges. Stallone, Gypsy. The Gypsy looks at you with disdain. Werewolf? The Gypsy spits in your general direction. Okay. 
Gravedigger. The gypsy glares at you in sullen silence. Yeah, no problem. Well, how about if I say I help? You tell the gypsy that you will do whatever you can to help prove his innocence and see his release. The gypsy doesn't seem to believe you. No, they didn't. Do. Well then, go do something instead of standing around talking with everybody. I like to talk to everybody. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna... It is possible that the Gravedigger is still alive. If you are going wandering outside of town, please watch for him. Yeah, I will. I will. Calm down, everyone. Give me a little more time. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, Gandhi, but we have waited long enough. Yeah, he's right. I got first dibs. That gypsy's gonna pay. That gypsy's gonna make Joan of Arc look like a piker. He's gonna burn at the stake. Yes, yes. If I cannot find out what happened to Igor before tomorrow, you shall have your burning. Okay, let's go find Igor then. I think I know where Igor is. I think I remember where Igor is. I'm a little bit distracted now from my original plan, but that's okay. Um, over here. I think I should save. You think there's all the save now? Um, The majestic mountains in the background provide a beautiful contrast to the grim gravestones and crypts of the cemetery. You hear a monstrous groaning noise from beneath the fallen tombstone. Perhaps a horrible monster waits below. Or not. You fail to budge the heavy gravestone. It will take more strength than you've got to move this, or better leverage. You think I can, I can climb now? Great, then we are going to use this on. This is not a good place to. This is not. There. There we go. Nice. Eager saved, cut. <laughs> Igor's grave. <laughs> you are very welcome. I guess we are going back to town then. Not quite. I need to. I really want to go and throw some rocks again. These random quests here, they are. They are. They are making me. What was that? They're making me uh, forget my true quest. Like throwing rocks for days and days and days. Let's do that now. Okay, and I'll be back when something happens. You missed. Okay, it's getting late. We need to go back to town to get some sleep and maybe. Uh, I don't know. Let's go back to town and get some sleep. Oh 
I, how, how does this work? Oh, I'm poisoned. How the hell does the fight work? Come on, how do I advance? Oh wow, the combat hasn't always been a little bit awkward in these games. Wyvern has no place to carry treasure. The only effect is a tingling sensation. But if Dr. Cranium is to be trusted... It's night. We're gonna go to bed. You hear movement. After a few minutes. Yeah, we have heard this a lot. Many times, many times. Go back to bed. You unlock the door to your... Fight was sure. I think I you awaken as the sun before. begins to rise. Yeah. Uh, this is all the time I have for today. Um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we're gonna continue next time.